My name is Mohammed Al Haj. I'm a 19 year old student from Leeds. I got into volunteering through playing with LDM. I used to be a participant, I used to just play in recreational sessions, community sessions, etc. And all of a sudden, I found myself helping out with small sessions here and there, and it just became something that I enjoy doing. Right now, I'm coaching basketball, I'm delivering community sessions in some of the deprived areas in Leeds. The majority of the time, the sessions consist of working on our basketball fundamentals and then going into small-sided games and trying to transfer those skills into the games and trying to instill that basics in them and a lot of the things that they learn through basketball transfers into real life. So it's all about sticking to the basics and sticking to the fundamentals and hopefully it makes a change. Coming to these sessions helps kids way further than basketball. Sometimes it's just meeting new people, making new, making new friends, building their people skills. A lot of these kids, they come to our sessions really shy, um, not really talking to anyone. Then all of a sudden their confidence goes up, their self-esteem goes up and they start making friends, their leadership skills go up. Okay, their people skills really improve and they start to communicate better and these skills really transfer into real life. So uh, to a few people, that's just a place where they can come and play basketball. But to the majority, it's a community where they can come down, be themselves and then be supported whenever they need it. My favourite thing about volunteering is seeing kids develop their skills. Um, at the start, it was just helping out with the sessions um, just to give back to the community. But now seeing how much basketball is changing kids' lives and how children are really progressing, that's making me feel better about myself, which is making me want to help even more. So that's why I volunteer. When I first started volunteering, I was 15, 16 years old. Um, I didn't know much, but through volunteering, I've learned a lot of um, leadership skills, communication skills. I've developed a lot of patience. Um, with children, some, sometimes other children develop slower than others, so it's all about being patient with them, um, just being there to support them. And eventually these children might develop and be better than their peers. So it's all about understanding your individuals. And um, I think coaching has helped me develop those skills and I feel like coaching has definitely impacted me outside of basketball in terms of um, dealing with children better, noticing um, mental health issues or, or whether it's signs of abuse or just in general life. Um, I've learned to deal with children a lot better. A big pattern with our community sessions is that a lot of these kids come back and that's definitely because it feels like a community, it feels like a family. A lot of the time you might go to another session and um, it's not very, the sessions are not focused on you, you don't really um, get what you expect but when you come down to one of the LDM sessions everyone's like yeah well done, everyone's supporting you if you need it, there's a high five, okay if, there's a if you need a hug there's a hug, you know what I mean, um, it's a supportive environment and people like being a part of this atmosphere so it just keeps everybody going, um, whether it's the, the children, the parents, the volunteers, it's, it's the atmosphere is what glues us together. If you're thinking about starting to volunteer, I would say find something that you enjoy, find something that you're passionate about and being 15, 16 years old and not really knowing what to do, I understand that sometimes that might be difficult. So what I suggest is you do everything that you can. Um, look around the area, find volunteering opportunities near you and just try everything. Try everything and eventually you'll find out one thing that you really want to do. And um, if you're thinking, oh, if I volunteer and not do it again, is it a waste of my time? I'm going to say no, because even if you go to one volunteering session, if you pick the right opportunity, that will change your life. You'll start to make a lot of connections. You'll make a lot of friends. You'll start to learn a lot of skills that will be beyond that specific opportunity. So I'll say, keep trying new things. Don't, it's hard to do things that you're not comfortable doing, but that's what life is about, doing things that make you uncomfortable. When I first started volunteer volunteering, I started as a participant. And I wouldn't say I was the brightest of kids, I was a little naughty kid. Um, I used to mess around all the time, I never listened to my teachers in school. Um, all I wanted to do was sit at home, play games, I didn't really care. Um, but through coming to these basketball sessions, playing basketball, me meeting new friends, learning discipline through sports, those, those attributes and habits and um, whatever you want to call it, transferred into real life. So it's got to the point where um, my whole perspective of life changed. Um, I've, I've had to mature a lot quicker especially because I coach people, sometimes they're older than me. So um, it got to the point where it made me mature, it made me realise that things bigger than messing about with your friends, um, things bigger than sitting at home playing video games, um, started to act like an adult, I guess.